hello and welcome to today's youtube video so in this section of this playlist you are going to learn how to set up a django project so the first thing that we need to do is uh open open your command line and once in your command line i want you to cd into where you want these projects to be so i am going to cd into um where i want the location to be so i'm going to say desktop and tpg so once i'm once you have cd into where you want this um project to be i want you to create a new folder and inside this folder all our files and all our files and folders for our project are going to be stored in there so just write the command mkdi root stands for make directory make directory and to do or whatever you choose to name this folder so once you do that and we say dir we can see we have a folder named to do so what we need to do is uh cd into to do which is folder we just created let me clear up my screen and then the next thing we need to do is we need to create a virtual environment for our Django project so a virtual environment basically is an isolated working environment on your computer that you can create and it is advised to always use virtual environments when you are working on a new Django project. So for us to create a virtual environment, we need to install one library first. So I want you to run the command pip install pipm. Now once you run this command, it's going to install pipm for you. Now it says requirements already satisfied for me because I already, I already have it installed. So once you've installed pipm, I want you to run the command pipm shell. Now, once you do this, uh, this command is going to create a new virtual environment for you on your computer. As you can see, it says creating virtual environment. So, uh, and the virtual environment is going to be named whatever your current working directory is. Now, because our current working directory is um, is to do, we can see the virtual environment has been named to do. Then we have this uh, extra text there. So now we've uh, created a virtual environment and it has been activated. The next thing we need to do is now install Django. So we do that by saying pip install Django. Pip install Django. So this command is going to install the Django web framework for us on our computer. Now, please, uh, I want to take this time to say, please kindly subscribe uh, to my channel and like my videos and feel free to comment if you have any issues and i will definitely reply in the comment section so uh it has installed django right now and then the next thing we need to do is we need to start a project that is uh django is divided into different sections we have the project and then we have the app now each app serves as um you can choose to make each app uh, an individual functionality like for example, let's say I'm building um, a social site like Facebook. Um, the chatting section of the app of the website is going to be one section. The um, sharing pictures is going to be another section. So what we need to do now is create a project. So we're going to do that by saying Django-admin starts project. And then followed by whatever you want to name this project. Let's name the project to do PRG which stands for to do projects now after doing that we need to cd into to do prj so we we'll say to do prj now after creating a project the next thing we need to do is we need to create an application now we we'll do that by saying python manage does py start up and then we now need to um declare what we want the name of our app to be let's name it to do app and once we do that uh and we say dir we can see we have our project and our app folders right here we have to do prg and to do app so let me clear out my terminal the next thing we now need to do is um open our code editor so i want to just run the command code dot so if you are using visual studio code it's going to um, automatically open visual studio code for you but if you don't use visual studio code i want you to just navigate your way to where you see manage.py for example let me explain more i want you to navigate your way to the folder you just created and then i want you to enter to do prg and where you see this manage.py this is the directory that you are going to open with your 
uh, code editor. Maybe it's Visual Studio code you're using or Sublime Text. So what we now need to do is we need to now uh, run Python manage.py run server dot py run server now once we run this it's going to give us a local development server that we can use this thing so just copy it and just go to any of your web browsers and paste it now once you uh enter you can see the install successfully worked congratulations now this is just the first part of actually uh um starting our project so we now need to configure everything in our code so let me just zoom in here now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our settings.py file inside our project folder and now once we've done that i want you to navigate your way down to where you see installed apps now what we need to do is we need to tell django that we have an application that we just created so that django is going to know how to find it all we simply need to do is in quotes just type in the name of the app that you just created so that would be to do app and then the next thing that we need to do is we, we need to um tell django where to find our templates folder now our templates folder is where um we're going to keep all our html files basically all our front-end files so i want you to scroll down to line 58 where you see templates and when you see dirs inside this empty list i want you to put in quotes and type in templates now once you've done that i want you to save it so that is all we need to do inside uh, our settings.py file for now now the next thing that we need to do is uh we need to actually create this templates folder that we just told django to go and find so i want you to go to your app folder which is to do app and inside to do app i want you to create a new folder and name it templates now once we've created um templates inside your app folder i want you to now create i want you to create a new folder inside this templates folder and name it to do app to do app so we're naming this folder we're naming this new folder what we um we're naming this new folder the name we give our app so that'll be to do app now that is going to be that for now now the next thing we need to do is we need to set up our urls that is the url routing so i want you to go to your projects folder and open up urls.py and then where you see this um from django.urls import path we also want to input um import include now what we are telling django is that we want you to also check for urls.py file inside our app folder so we're going to say path we'll pass in an empty string here and then we're going to say include and then in quotes we're going to pass in to do app.urls now what we've told django here is that and we want you to um check the urls of py file inside um our to do app so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a file named urls.py inside our app folder so i want you to create a file name it urls.py.py now once you've done that inside this file i want you to say from django.urls import path okay let me choose the right interpreter right here uh, okay from django.urls import path now what we need to say is url patterns is equal to an empty list it's going to be sorry it's going to be an empty list for now so inside here is where we're going to be declaring all our um, URL path and URL patterns. So that is all we need to do in this video. So thank you for watching. If this was helpful and you learned how to set up a Django project, please kindly like, share, and subscribe. And in next video, we're going to be talking about um, writing some views and basically setting up the templates that are going to, that we're going to use. So stay tuned and uh see you in the next video thank you for watching